My name is Brian. What you play? I played Brandon Despier on Friday. Any shout-outs? Shout out to Ocean Gang. Shout out to everyone here at Cool Stuff. Shout out to Danny, Miles, and DJ all of them. And Isaiah over there. He's playing top eight right now. Alright. So starters in the deck. Three of the boy. Three following the Valbaz. Main card. Three of Lubers. Main searcher for your branded spells. Then next, throw those out the way. Play one Tragedy, one Lividum for the rest of the Despia cards. I'm missing one Despia card, uh, which is Quem. Uh, she's essential in right now in branded Despia. So right now, instead of Nibiru, it's like, she's supposed to be Quem. That's for the rest of the Despia cards. Play the one Cartesia. One Albion. Courier. And then the one card that everyone didn't expect me to use it for, the Hexio. For reasons that people thought they thought I was going to be playing it for, but I hit him with something else on Friday. That nobody expected me. And then this, the one Maximus for the Nadir package. The three Nadirs. Double X. Double X. package. One Lebellion. One Magnumut. One Sarenir. And one Regain. No Jura Swarm? No Jura Swarm. We're, we're on budget right now, but okay, okay. we're getting there soon. We're going to get there back uh, the Jura Swarm. Oh, that's full credit. <laughs> <laughs> this deck, I play the Fright for Package. So, two Fright for Patchworks, two Polys, and then two Edgem Chains. Gets my fusions going, and it works very well with all the cards in Despot. Best, your best spell, three brand of fusions, gets me to the line. That's not ulti. I wish it was. <laughs> you may search her for your Luber and all your Despia cards, branded openings, and then mostly for the one of us. Brandon Loss, one Brandon Red. And then for this deck, I play two Allures for the draw power and banishing. It's a risky combo if I don't have any Dark Monsters in hand, but it's worth it. The one Gold Sark. And then one Harpies and one Called By. Our number one out to Ash Blossom. We don't like Ash Blossom. Brandon players, we all hate Ash Blossom. And then, the best card in the deck, and honestly in Yu-Gi-Oh! Three Super Polys. <laughs> the amount of times that comes up today, and in all my matches. <laughs> honestly, everyone thinks I cheat. <laughs> they think I stack my deck. <laughs> now nah, you should have seen him celebrate when he got hit with it. Yeah. Like, Yo, Brian got hit with Super Crawley. <laughs> Everyone's celebrating. How's it feel? <laughs> and then the only two traps are playing main. One Retribution and one Brand Banishment, which is basically your fourth Super Crawley. I don't know what to the extra deck. Yeah, it's the extra deck. For your main, Brand Diffusion. Two Mirror Jades. Two Alba Albions. Rebellion. One Titanoclad. Despians. One Quiridus. One Guardian Chimera. Works well with the Pfeiffer package because Polly makes it untargetable. 
no, you didn't like that in some of the matchups. And then for the super poly targets, the Mud Dragon, the Garura, the Starving Venom. One Masquerade. Usually it's gonna be in the side a lot. Uh, I put Masquerade in. So if I'm going into game three and I have to play time, I just burn out my opponent. The only card that I'm missing from my extra deck uh, in replacements right now is instead of Draco Equist, uh, I would play the Sanctifier. And then I would also have instead the Masquerade in the side. It'd be uh, Greg Wignall for the Cartesian. And then the funny card that everyone did not like and did not expect today, Time Wizard of Tomorrow, which actually won me a few rounds and lost me one against Kamal. From two that in a row, what's that play for? Hmm? What does it do? What does it do? If you don't know what it does, it's basically a guaranteed board wipe, and then you flip a coin, if you call it right, your opponent takes half the damage of all destroyed monsters. Oh, no, like, but if you so, call it wrong, you take the damage. So pretty much good old fashioned time wizard shenanigans. <laughs> good old fashioned time wizard shenanigans. Uh, right. Oh, and then one Draco Sapella for Medicaid. One to the side. <laughs> Three D shifters. This is mostly for the Manadium and Tri Brigade matchups. I do not want to see them keep comboing off me. Three Ghost Spells. This hits Labyrinth. This hits a lot of decks that use uh, recycle their extra deck. I mean their graveyard. This format right now, I believe, is just so graveyard reliant. It's just two dark rulers. Doesn't come up as much as often, but it helps. It only helps in some matchups when I can't out there the gates. My board clearing cards. I play one evenly. Dark hole and two lightning storms. Play one extra Nibiru and left side. And then the one card that came up clutch against my Centurion matchup on Friday, Jinzo. <laughs> uh, I still play it. I still believe it's a good card. Because you can summon it off a of Sanctifier if you get it in the graveyard. It's Joey Wheeler over here. <laughs> <laughs> if, if Joey Wheeler ever played Branded Destiny. I'm going to say, Time Wizard, <laughs> Jinzo. It helps. Like, this stops there evenly, this stops imperms, this stops centurions. I know what it do, I know what he does. <laughs> of course the one masquerade, Generate. but yeah. That's it for the cards. Congratulations, hope to see you on the channel more. Glad to see you have much success with this brand new day. It's an amazing day. You are a good brand new player, so congratulations. One of the few last brand new players here at Cool Stuff. Looking like Cash Tier now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you.